Hey everybody, we are here to share some exciting news. Uh, one of the eight core values at the Father's House is experience God. The value reads, life is found in God's presence and we will make a place for people to encounter Him. Over the last five and a half years, we have done everything in our power to embrace that value in every place and space that God has entrusted to us. Whether that is a rented Masonic building at the corner of 19th and Sloat for Sunday morning services or the first Tuesday pursuit gatherings, whether it's the Pomeroy Center for our Thursday food pantry, whether it's homes and living rooms all around the city for small groups or even rented spaces and churches for trainings and, and a variety of different ministry events, we've done all we know how to do to make places for people to encounter Jesus. However, that has become a bit more challenging over the years. What was easy with just a few people at the church is now incredibly challenging with over a thousand folks showing up every single week to receive ministry from the Father's House. Not only has it become really expensive to rent places all around our city to host ministry, but many of the homes and living rooms that currently house all of those events have been outgrown as God has continued to add more and more people to the church. Add to that our desire to do a better job of ministering to our community. We knew as we were stepping into 2024 that it was time to take inventory and consider what God had next for our church. And so as we stepped into this year, we began to pray. We were asking God, what does it look like to, to have a sacred space where we can do all the things you placed in our heart to do and truly minister better to our community? So we began to pray. We asked God to open up a door and in true only God fashion, he did just that. Not a little door, but an exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask, think, or imagine kind of door. With that, I want to welcome you to 2550 Ocean Avenue. We're currently standing just a block away from our church building. That's only a five minute walk from the porch where we enjoy coffee and donuts on Sunday morning to this space, an old Walgreens that is now the Father's House Ministry Center. We cannot wait to transform this location into a hub where God can minister to people every single day for the next months and even years to come. I can't wait to show you the space, so follow me inside. Check it out. Now, I know this looks like a big empty space, but take a minute and imagine with me what we can transform this space into. I see a place where young people can gather on Wednesday night, and instead of being stuffed in a living room for youth, they can gather here and even invite their friends. I see a space where our recovery groups can come together and not only be ministered to, but the doors of this place can be opened so that we can also minister to people in our city who desperately need freedom. I see a space that can be transformed into a classroom where people can come and learn about the Bible and we can teach our leaders and we can gather with our prayer people. I see a space where we can bring our young people in and create kids camps for over the summer. I see a space where the options are endless, where God can minister to so many people all throughout the week. But this is not the only space. There's more space. So follow us and let's check the rest of it out. Welcome to the mezzanine. From the beginning of the Bible, God reveals himself as creator. And I think one of the greatest ways we can tap into the character and the nature of God is through creativity. That's why at the ministry center here, we're gonna have a space that is specifically dedicated to creativity, the creative school. Over here, there's gonna be a recording studio where we're gonna have an opportunity to capture the anthems that God continues to give to our church and release those songs, not just to our community, but to anybody else who will listen. And then back behind that wall, there will be a video suite where many of our video editors and those who film around the church will have an opportunity to capture creative images and video that we can continue to release throughout the weekends and for special events here at the Father's House. I'm so excited about tapping into the creative heart of God in this space. Now, from the mezzanine, I want to invite you to one of my favorite spaces here. Come on up to our prayer room. This is the prayer room, but we can also call this the upper room. This is the space where our intercessors are going to gather on a regular basis to pray for the needs of the church and extend our hands out to the city. Isaiah 62, 6 says, I have posted watchmen on your walls and they will pray day and night. Listen, our intercessors have been praying since the beginning of the church and we will continue to pray, but we are so excited to have this sacred space 
where we can gather on a regular basis and continue lifting up prayers to God on behalf of our community. So the big news is we've already secured this facility and renovations will begin in just a couple of weeks. But that big news comes with a big request. In order for us to transform this abandoned Walgreens into a ministry center for the Father's House, we need to raise some money. Specifically, we need to raise about $250,000 to pay for all of the construction costs and renovations. Now, if this is your home church, you know that we have been really faithful to save since we started for the eventual purchase of a permanent facility. To date, we've been able to save about $2.5 million for that purchase. And while it would be easy to borrow against our savings to pay for all these renovations, We live with this conviction. We don't feel that God has called us to rob from our future promise to pay for our present need. So we are asking everyone who calls the Father's House home, everyone who receives from the ministry of the Father's House to pray. Ask God how you can participate in seeing this dream come to be reality. Uh, I really believe that God's calling everyone to participate at some level. My prayer has been that everyone in our church and everyone connected to the ministry would give a one-time gift above and beyond the tithe, because I still need you to tithe. We still have to be able to run the church, but a one-time gift above and beyond the tithe so that we could quickly raise in just a few short months all that we need and we can get back to the business of saving for the future. I love it. Yeah, we want to invite you. Please pray with us. Ask God, what is it you want me to give? Let's give big. And then I'm so excited to invite you back for our ribbon cutting ceremony and invite you to see this incredible transform space.